Well, now we are with Alex, who gave a presentation in the Transgender Symposium here in Munich. Can you give us a summary of your, of your talk? What are the main things that you would like to highlight? Sure. Well, thank you for including me. First of all, it was such an honor to be included with the group mm -hmm. from Argentina and Latin America more broadly. My talk focused on interventions that address intersectionality mm -hmm. for transgender women living with HIV. And I focused on a gender minority stress framework, how we can apply this in clinical practice and health service delivery. I focused on gender affirmation and gender affirming care, what this looks like, what the benefits are in terms of health outcomes, and how we can integrate this with HIV services. And I gave the example of a large implementation science project we did funded by the federal government in the United States across 26 pilot sites to improve health outcomes for transgender women living with HIV and shared some toolkits we developed that are publicly available now for the world to use for two specific interventions for transgender women with HIV. One is called Healthy Divas and one is called Tweet. So hopefully people will access yeah. those toolkits now. Yeah, and I think it, it was a very stressed the point of integration yes. here in the symposium because yes. we know that uh, with only with PrEP, it, it is not enough. Yeah. So the more we can offer to the community is the, the better. So Absolutely, yeah, and we know that we have to offer gender affirming care services for trans and gender diverse people to be uh, motivated to yeah. come in for HIV services, that the gender affirmation piece is actually more important to many people yeah, sure. than the HIV care. So we have to start with that, make sure that we build mm -hmm. trust, and then people will engage in HIV services. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. You can follow us for more information.